So I have 11080 and it sold. I'm not giving up on GPU mining, but while these had value and could sell for about the price I paid for them, even though they were mining pretty well, that just, you know, half a beam a day or something along those lines, and making the 30 cents for a six card rack um, wasn't quite cutting it. So, what we have here today is sort of an unboxing video and also a sad day. Um, I'm not quitting GPU mining. If I find another decent deal on a rig, I don't mind, you know, being able to have that, that option in order to chase uh, coins and such that, you know, you can't get any other way. But um, the price point on my 1080 Ti's was to the point where I felt it was necessary to offload them and maybe um, look at either, you know, good deals or new technology. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Sorry, I do have a little bit of a cold, but this is more of an unboxing video. Um, I got this from FPGA Guide. Sorry, I kind of do this one-handed. So, there. We'll use a tripod. So, we got this box. Um, I ordered it from FPGA Guide. Results may vary, but I had a good experience. The price was good. Um, if you buy in bulk, you know, you can ask them to work with you a little bit on shipping. Um, obviously, I got a DHL package. I ordered it about a week ago, and it showed up, so I'm impressed with that. Um, we'll see what happens here when we plug it in. I apologize again. Like I said, I have a bit of a cold here, so... Um, seems to be well packaged. And... There we have it. I don't want to, uh, you know, violate any regulations by showing you ultra secret serial numbers or anything like that. But uh, so the plan here is is to test this out and uh, see how it does with the power supply on the rig. So I'll go ahead and get that set up. Sorry, this is a little awkward, but. Um, this is an Antec 1300 Platinum power supply with a Celeron CPU and 4 gigs of RAM, so um, right now we'll kick that guy on and just do sort of a baseline for wattage. It's kind of sad that there's no massive GPUs booting up with this guy. But if we look over here, we can see that we're using about 32 40 watts okay so at startup it's about 40 watts but it seems to be bouncing around the 25 to 35 watts just kind of back and forth so we'll plug in the FPGA here so the reason I'm doing it this way is the uh, power supply for right now has a switched power supply which is nice uh, I plan on using the our uh, rig for something else uh, for an experiment, which I'll post another video uh, in tandem with this, but as long as it's running, I might as well, you know, be able to, to plug in the internet and the power supply um, off, of, off of the rig. So, we're all connected, and here we go. Okay, so, um, pushed the power button and selected the power device, and now we'll go over and see if we can find it on the network. Okay, so here under uh, protection, um, Wi-Fi inspector, I can look and see, um, you know, what's on my network. Um, the F1 I have comes out as a Beagle Bone, but the Black Miner that I just plugged in, <clears throat> the F1 Mini, um, it shows up here. We can go to the details and we can see the IP address. So, with that, I mean, there's probably other software that you can scan your network and find out what it was assigned, but um, we can navigate to that, logging in with root and root, um, and if we go to pool side, we can see what uh, what algorithm um, URL 
file where we have installed. I copied this from my Black Miner F1 um, over to the F1 Mini, but the problem is when we look at um, the bit streams, we don't have that algorithm, CKB. So with that, we need to go down to upgrade and more than likely upgrade the firmware to the latest. So what we're doing here is we're looking at the uh, latest um, the latest firmware and so we can do that so we make sure we're on the mini the right kind of uh, the right IP address and then we'll browse to the location and open and Place the firmware and see what happens. Great! So it looks like we're able to uh, go back and now we look at the file system and it's 11.25 so that's the, the latest. But if we go over here to uh, configuration pool miner And we look, first of all, uh, we lost all the algorithms. Oh, there they are. But we do not have uh, the new one still. So we need to see how to put that on there. So uh, now we'll go back to upgrade and we'll go to browse and we will grab our CKB. Open that up. And we'll go ahead and install that image. And we drop this down, and there we have CKB. So we'll click that, and we'll hit save. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're populated out. Um, shows that we're alive and running and that we have one that's getting 0.8 giga hash so we'll see how that continues so reportedly we're supposed to get about 2.4 giga hash i will click this for refreshing it's been up a minute and a half uh, shows 2.1, so that's pretty close. I know it fluctuates up and down a little bit um, all day long, but it looks like we are mining. So I will switch back over to the other camera. So to wrap it up, um, I love the FPGAs, and um, you know, it's something that seems to at the moment do a lot better. Yes, you know the algorithms aren't beam and grin for the bit streams but if you can you know mine eight dollars worth of something a day at half the wattage <laughs> and about you know a sixth of the price as far as hardware and you can convert it daily to your you know coin of choice it's kind of justifiable um you know you don't want all your eggs in one basket but lil over at um black miner hash altcoin though you know those guys seem like they're you know really taking care of people and doing a good job and you know get on their discord channel you can definitely check out lost coin um he seems to be on top of all this stuff and um experimenting with it as well and i'll show you um some other stuff in the next video thanks for watching so this isn't pretty but it's where it's currently at um, this is a Black Miner F1. Um, as you can see, it has uh, two cards. You can put in a third card, but uh, it's not really cost effective. You know, it's like $1,200 for a third card, but you could buy another Black Miner, um, possibly used on the market for $1,500, which has two cards. So, you know, 
Uh, right now we're doing about 550 watts on a 750 watt power supply. You can pick these up on eBay for about 50 bucks with the cables and the um, breakout board is what it's called. Um, it's staying around 47 degrees, so it's nice and cool. But it's a little bit loud. It's not something you want in your bedroom, but it's not crazy loud. It's it's probably twice the loudness of a GPU mining system. So, you know, great in the garage in winter time, but it doesn't really generate enough heat to, I would say, you know, <laughs> provide a heat source. But uh, I will post some more videos on this guy later.